Danny, we're back with another YouTube video, and today we're going to be doing the Chloromancer class setup video. I know I have to do a class setup video for every single class that I use, so I'm going to tell you why I choose each of these, um, each of these weapons and, uh, and, um, allies and emblems. I know haven't used, I uh, haven't gotten an emblem yet, so don't worry about that. Um, just focus on what I'm saying right now. So, yeah, some of the items aren't finished because I couldn't really finish it today. I just want to get this video out today and just tell you guys what you guys will need on this class so let's start off go to C here and then for the, uh, starting off with the damn hat we got the cutest kitty it gives me 2,033 maximum health which is you need, you need health for every single class so this is a staple on that uh, also attack speed to heal up to, to heal your plants so if you just throw down a couple plants you heal them up super quick and they boom and then they explode so you do use some damage so that's the reason why you need attack speed is to um, auto attack and to heal your plants so they can um, create some damage and you need you need some more health there because you can't really get damage on the hats and yeah the critical damage is obviously I'm going for the crit build you guys can do whatever the hell you want with the rest but I'm going with the crit crit damage is the best so yeah goes with search shocker really well so deals a bunch of damage a or um, DPS really really fast so shadow level 3 obviously you got mineral medley at uh, the staff staple on this guy magic damage staple health regenerator is also a staple on this guy so you can keep throwing down your plants and um yeah just, you just don't run out of energy when you keep spamming all your abilities because this class is pretty much you have to spam heal your plants boom boom plant up again heal up boom and then they explode so yeah health energy regeneration is also very good on this class of course health is also very good because you pretty much heal yourself so you have another um option second option i guess for more healing but I, I went with more healing cut just because I want some more healing action going up in that bitch. So, yeah, next we got the critical damage. It's, um, of course, I'm going the crit build. Every single one has crit damage on this guy. So, every class has crit damage on my class setup, I guess you can say. So, yeah, crit damage is also really important. Goes with short strike as well. Pairs up with this. Does, like, 5k damage at level 24. I'm level, only level 11 right now. So, yeah. And then we got the face is the dim dimensional diviner. It's also really good because it gives me more maximum health. That attack speed that I need, and this doesn't have an attack speed. So just saying, that doesn't have an attack speed. That doesn't need does that does not need an attack speed. I'll take um health regeneration over attack speed any day of the week. So yeah, I know some of you guys might argue. Oh, you can go ahead and go attack speed if you want. Like I'm not I'm not saying you have to, but you can. Uh, you you just heal your plants up faster. That's it. pretty much it. That's pretty much all. But I, I'm go I'm going for the health here. So that's really that's the only reason why I'm going with that. And then for the face, I said dimensional diviner gives me 2,000 maximum health once again, but 14 attack speed, where it makes up for this, I guess. So yeah. And then you get the magic damage, which is super important. Um, and your critical damage as as always, because I'm going full crit. As you guys know. And then for the ally, this may vary with you guys. You can either go um this one or the where is that where's the other one you can go energy regeneration in this one but you know if you want more energy re regeneration and when you want more maximum health you can go ahead and do that um really depends on you you can actually use any of these if you're building for that spec I guess, but I'm I'm choosing the Chronomantic Quest ability. It's a little bit expensive, 13k. Some so some of you guys might not be able to afford it. So sorry about that. But if you if you want, you can go ahead and do that. If you want, just saying. So yeah. And the next is the Chronomancer Quest ability. Why I chose this? 20% magic damage, which is the same thing as this. The Rap Berserker. These two are pretty much the same thing, but vice versa. One's for magic damage. One's for physical damage. Um, and yeah, it reduces cooldown time by 25%, which means you can keep throwing out your plants super fast instead of the 40 second cooldown reduction on the 40 second timer on this guy. I, really, I don't, I can't really do the math, so you guys tell me in the description down below how long it takes for me to use my cast my abilities now. So, and for the ring, I did not finish the ring yet. It's, it's barely shadow level three. That's the best I could do for now. Uh, the magic find is great for now. It's because I'm looking for gear, but now since I looked, uh, now since I got all the gear I wanted. Um, I don't need magic find anymore. What you want on this ring is magic find, or not magic find. You want magic damage and energy regeneration. That's the key importance on this class. Energy regeneration, energy regeneration. You just want to keep dishing out those plants. So, 
yeah, that's a that's a really good item. I don't have the ring right now, so magic damage and energy regeneration for the ring, as always. Energy regeneration and magic damage for the ring. That's S. That's supposed to be S four, but I only got S three for now because that's my RNG is not that good. So yeah, next we get the Sure Shark emblem, as always, for the DPS, and then for this emblem right here, you just get the um the arcane emblem. Where'd it go? Arcane, arcane, arcane emblem. It should be. Where the hell did the arcane emblem go? Alright, this one. Arcane emblem. Doubles magic damage temporarily. Uh, you need that on this class. I just put the berserker for now because I don't really have a magic... I never had a magic class before, so I never thought of the arcane emblem. So that's really why I'm using the rap berserker now. But the rap berserker works because uh, if you just pop a potion, stretch strike goes up, crit from all three of your, uh, three all, three of your gear here. Crits, huge your pants, super fast because this gives you attack speed. I don't know, it really depends, but I'm, I really want the double magic damage because right now I only have 4,378, so that's the reason why I want that. So, yeah, and um, pretty much it. You want to swap this out for the Arcane Emblem for the Flask. I forgot to change it to, you can get the Vile, Valorous Vile, or the Elijah Jug, but I rec really recommend the Valorous Vile because, you know, you can have infinite pots. If you, if you crit, there's a chance you can get a pot back, so that's the only reason why I chose this. As you can tell, I didn't choose it before because I was doing some dungeons with my Canadian Barbarian, and that's the reason why I didn't choose it. So, hopefully this cleared up a lot of information for you guys, gave you a lot of information on why, what things get on the get on the the Chloromancer here, as you guys can tell. Um, if you guys want to get this class for free, you have to go through a hassle, a hassle, hassle, hassle. Well, not really a hassle, but like a hassle of playing a game rip. It's actually really damn boring, so I don't really recommend it. But it was, you got a free class, so if you guys want a tutorial on that, Underrated54 has a pretty good one. But he doesn't really explain, like, how do you get there and pretty much like that. But it's it's really simple, so that's alright. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. As always... See you guys all in the next episode, and I will respond to every single comment there is, so comment down below what you guys think about this class setup. So yeah, thank you guys for watching once again. Peace out guys, it's Danny, we're back in the YouTube video, and today we'll be playing some more of these Chloromancer games. Want to call it, so 